Man, some of y'all are lazy as hell, and there's no excuse why you cannot go chase your dream. I mean, some of y'all come up with the most excuses, and it's just straight BS. Y'all tell me, like, oh, I don't have time, you know, I got, I got kids, I got, uh, you know what I'm saying, a nine to five. Bro, that's just an excuse, because if you hungry enough, you're going to make time for it. I mean, I had people telling me, oh, yeah, uh, you know, if you get another job or three jobs, you still have time to go get it. Because you're hungry for it. So what I'm saying is, you know, just, just stop with the excuses because it's just it just sounds silly. Now, let me tell you a story. This past Wednesday um, on the 15th, I was on my way to work, you know, listening to the radio 107.3. And it was Entrepreneurship Day. And what I mean by that, they was asking people, what was the hardest thing to do? You know, when you start a business or have a business, they a lot of them say, you know, the startup, you know, trying to, you know, um, just keep motivating yourself when when at first business is not, you know, um, picking up. It's just slow. You know, you just got two customers the whole month, you know, keeping that motivation. It's just it's just a startup. Now, this one lady named Chantel, she she lived in Florida. They asked her, what was the hardest thing, you know? to you know to have a business or to start a business she said you know the hardest thing was trying to start a business while having 10 kids i was like wait a minute she just said 10 kids yes 10 kids and um you know two of her kids had diabetes so then on top of that she had to find a way to cook the right way the proper way so she can feed her kids that had diabetes Cause you know if you diabetic, you can't just eat anything that you want. You have to balance it out. So she she found that way, and you know soon came enough. She was motivated. You know, kept sticking with it, telling herself, kept God first, kept God close, and you know just kept believing. And next thing you know, she started her own business with ten kids. Ten kids. Some of y'all only have one kid, two kids. And y'all just use that excuse, oh yeah, they just take all my time. I can't go chase my dream. That's just that's just lazy. I mean, like, how can you not have time to go chase it? I mean, that nine to five is cool. It's you know, it's gonna pay the bills, but is it gonna get you to where you need to get to in life? That's the question. That's the question you need to ask yourself. You need to um create investments. You can work the nine to five for right now. Or, I mean, I don't know what your intentions are, but I'm saying to you, if you want to get ahead, if you want to get debt free, you know, you got to, you got to invest and you got to learn about, you know, taxes and everything else. How can you get ahead? How can it, why is the rich staying rich and the poor getting poor? Ask yourself those questions and give yourself a breakdown list of how you can achieve your goals and stop giving up. And stop coming up with a, every excuse in the book on why you cannot chase your dream. Because at the end of the day, the dream chasers, they're going to look at that as B, BS or anybody else for real. They're not going to try to hear that. Like, And it's not even about them. It's about you bettering yourself. What are you going to do to put yourself in a better predicament in life and create a better life for your kids? What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to just sit back and just let life hit you in your chin over and over again and not do nothing? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to start today or next year? So I advise y'all to make the real money moves now and invest.